Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be making boof bourguignon. This recipe is from one of my friend's mom in uh, south of France. Uh, the place was called Carcassonne. It's a beautiful, beautiful place in south of France. And uh, I had the privilege to go see a few homes in south of France and their kitchen. And uh, usually I'll ask for tips. So what is your special thing and all that. But when I went, it was summer, and I asked them about Bouf Bourguignon. They said, like, we don't make it in summer. It's usually a winter recipe or a fall recipe. Now, today, it's like really gloomy, and it's fall. Like, the leaves are falling, and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful outside. So I thought I'll make Bouf Bourguignon. And I had, I found this uh, Pinot Noir from Bourguignon. Bourguignon is in French, and can call burgundy wine so the beef is actually cooked in burgundy wine and beef stock if you have veal stock you can have veal stock so in this recipe the only simple tip that I got was you don't have to marinate the beef in wine you can just sear it and then cook it in the oven the flour that I'll be putting on the beef will be toasted in the oven so first thing I would do is like put the oven on 450 degree Fahrenheit and then start cooking and there's two parts to this the first part is the beef itself and you sear it and put the wine and cook it for two to two and a half hours based on like you have to keep checking in between the liquid that I'm putting is enough or not so that will be cooking and then the garnish usually they serve it with boiled potatoes and uh, herb butter like garlic butter with herbs and bread. I made this uh, no need bread yesterday. So I ate a half of it. So I'll be using it just for this. The basic ingredient for this recipe is burgundy wine, bourguignon, and it can be pinot noir. If you cannot get a burgundy wine, you can actually buy a pinot noir. If it's from France, it'll be nice. So pinot noir is the main thing, it's a red wine for the garnish i'll be using pearl onion and uh, mushrooms so that's that's something that you need to have and bacon these are the most important ingredients in bouf bourguignon the beef i got was like the chuck uh, steak so that's very important if it's a shoulder meat and it has to be more like a stewing beef so good quality meat is very very important to this ask your butcher and they'll be able to give it to you. One of my playlists will be classic French recipes and I'll be making uh, more French recipes for a while, um, which I'm inspired and I want to do it. So let's get into the recipe. Before we get into the recipe, I'll show you the ingredients and then I'll put all the measurements in the description below. Beef cut into big chunks, like almost one kilo, thousand grams, bouquet garni, it's very very important bacon you can do like 200 grams or like uh, it depends on how much you want bacon so flour for one kilo all-purpose flour is like 30 grams one big carrot one big onion into big squares it doesn't have to be small button mushrooms for garnish so 400 ml wine you can go up to 500 ml don't overdo it and then beef stock or veal stock another 500 ml and then I'll add water as I go pearl onion and put like six or seven pearl onions okay the first thing we have to do in any French kitchen is mise en place any kitchen is good so you have to dice slice and then keep everything measured and that's called mise en place so I'm gonna be using this Dutch oven for the for cooking the beef and to be like a one pot dish that way you can even serve it in the pot that was the carrot I cut into big dices onion big squares and button mushrooms I'll show you I have three garlic forgot to tell the beef is cut into big chunks the bacon is also cut almost like the onion size I have some parsley that I'll add it to my butter the first thing I'll be doing is bouquet garni. In my bouquet garni, I have one bay leaf, 
thyme, few parsley stems, some black pepper and garlic. So I'm gonna tie this. This is also very important in both bohinya. Putting this in the bohinya. Pearl onion. Usually the pearl onion is small, but this time I don't know why they have all like big, big, big pearl onion. So I cut it into quarters. So you want this thick. So I will be showing you how I'm going to be caramelizing it. And the button mushroom will also be sorted. Everything, the garnish will be done an hour before. The first step I'm going to do is put the oven on, preheat the oven, 450 degree Fahrenheit. I have to heat the stock and the wine. You have to put in low medium and let it warm up heat and reduce a little bit okay so these two will be simmering for a while i'll start searing the meat i'm gonna put some oil to sear the meat need like a warm like this don't put butter it'll burn You want the oil to really be hot. That's the sound. You need to hear. So this is the color we are looking for all around. So I'm just turning it around. Now you can see it's seared on all the sides. I will be removing the beef. Now in the same fat. I'll be putting the carrot and the onion. I'm going to add a little bit, very little salt. You want it to brown a little bit. Try to get all the bits and I'm adding the beef back in there. Now, I'm going to put the flour on top of the beef. Now, I put the flour on top of the beef. I'm going to put this in the oven for 5 minutes so the flour will be toasted. Okay? The flour is toasted. I took it out. I'm going to reduce the temperature from 450 to 425. Okay. Now the flour is toasted. Mix it really well. This becomes the roux. Now it's time to pour the stock. So 
try to get all the sides cleaned up with the stock the stock now i'm pouring the wine just to fill it okay it has to cover the meat just right above it add the garlic some salt two teaspoons it's up to you some pepper i like more pepper usually steak and beef and pepper goes really well bokke garni goes in there put the lid on this goes in the oven for 2 and 1/2 hours 2 to 2 and 1/2 hours i reduce the temperature from 450 to 425 in between i check if there is see enough liquid so whatever i pour is fine it has to cook for one more hour i just want to check in between and show you guys how it looks okay. if i need water i'll add some but i don't think i need let me put it back in the oven it's almost an hour the beef has been cooking i checked and i put some uh, water i have this water that i washed the red wine and stock i'm going to be braising the pearl onion so i put the pearl onion bottom side down so i put some butter a teaspoon sugar i'm going to put some water we're going to first i'll put it in medium high once the heat comes up then i will reduce it so by then we'll be making the cartouche as like a chimney okay so we measured the this part i measured the circle and we go as thin as possible and the middle of the pot approximately so much and cut it in the middle i'll put a all the cartouche i'll be covering that so that covers exactly like a lid so we are braising the pearl onion to caramelize it okay so let it braise let's bring the bacon in bacon brown now i add a little bit of that pork fat so button mushrooms goes in when it becomes like golden brown then i will take it out It's a long process, small details, but not too complicated. There's a lot of techniques that you learn from one French dish. So these are the techniques they teach in culinary school. It doesn't need any salt because we put the bacon fat is in there. to keep checking see the caramelized onion beautiful just move it around here you go all the garnish is ready potatoes boil and i'm putting some Uh, butter done wow oh. 
Wow, at that. Boop, Buginyo. Wow, this is amazing. Ooh, I can't wait to eat this. My favorite, one of my favorite dishes, French dishes. Adding the mushrooms, the caramelized onions, bacon, very rich dish, herb butter, This is the recipe and tips I got from some of the ladies in south of France when I travel. It's time to taste. just comes off. See? Slow cooking. Some butter. Mm. The sauce is so flavorful. Potato. Caramelized onion. Caramelized onion. This is what I love about French food. The flavors are like one on top of one on top of one. It's amazing. Everything is done separately and put together. If you guys like this video, please share, subscribe and comment. I'll see you guys in the next video with more recipes like this. And I'm planning to do more French recipes for a while. Bye-bye.